if you wanna expand your network, if you wanna slide into girls DMs, if you wanna just be more proud when you open your profile on Instagram, this video is for you. Because in this video I will show you exactly how you will optimize your profile perfectly so you can leverage your strengths and maybe hide your weaknesses and just have a high status profile without needing to be a celebrity. So I will show you exactly everything that I did regarding the posts, the stories on the highlights, regarding the blue tick, the followers to following ratio, everything like the reels, how to get views, I will explain everything that you need to do to have a high status Instagram. So before we start, you need to realize that Instagram is important in 2024 if you are like a young guy, because you are gonna get a lot of opportunities from this. In the beginning, maybe not really for business, but regarding messaging girls, everyone uses Instagram today. So if your Instagram is bad, you are missing out on a lot. I didn't even realize how big of a deal this was until I actually transformed my Instagram fully. So what you need to begin with is your posts because your profile can't just be empty and you expecting something big from your Instagram. So I began with posting some pretty simple posts like here you don't see nothing insane like the first post that you see here is just a mirror selfie that isn't even that great but it just shows that like I'm just a normal human being so nothing really insane going on this picture is probably gonna be removed when I have more, more high quality pictures to post but it's still better to have this there compared to having nothing because here I'm showcasing my uh, like the benefits of looks maxim because here you can see my physique you can see the nice chain you can see the a big neck from the neck workouts you can see the beard the jawline the fresh fade you can see pretty much a lot of things here that showcase that I have above average looks in this situation uh, then there are pictures like this one nothing too insane it's just a nice picture overall with a clean outfit i also have a nice frame i wear fitted clothes so it can show it well you also need to notice when you pose you should pose like this so instead of uh, having your chin up uh, your nose will look bigger your eyes will look uh, too big in a way so you want to put your head down slightly so you can have more of a hunter eye look and your jawline and the neck will pop more. So you want to look down slightly instead of up. A lot of people look up thinking they look cool or they look stronger like that. No, you actually want to look down just slightly so your eyes will look more like hunter eyes. Then if we go to the other posts, nothing too special here. I'm with my good friend from Germany uh, and I can showcase my physique here in the Armani t-shirt. That's really nicely fitting me. And here, nothing too insane, it's just a picture in Munich. Here as well, picture in Regensburg, some pictures, nothing too insane. This picture is really important. That's why it's like, basically when you open my profile, you see it immediately. This picture is really, really important because I can showcase my leverage point here, which is my back. I have a big back uh, regarding my whole physique. It's probably my best feature, so I'm showcasing it here. Uh, it looks pretty nice, it still looks natural, it doesn't look insanely big, but it looks big enough, so I can use it here, I can showcase my V-taper. I also put some other pictures here, uh, but yeah, that's about that post. And here, just a normal picture in Regensburg, nothing insane, I can showcase that I have a nice frame, uh, I have a nice pose here. Uh, one hand can always go into the pocket and the other arm can go somewhere else. Here I can leverage uh, how my arms look big in this post and the Armani t-shirt fits me really nicely here. The neck is also fairly big and the face expression, it could have been less angry, but it's still fair enough. Uh, so those are some of the posts here, but now we get to the more important part, which is actually the reels that you can see here but I'm gonna just open them here so you can see the view count without even opening them. So one got 387,000 views and the other got 216,000 views. This is really important because when you get, like you can post anything that can blow up, but now I'm also gonna explain how you know what to post so it gets views. Because after I got those views, I got a bunch of followers and also when I bought slightly more followers, which I'm also gonna get to, and the blue check mark, if someone asks me like, yo, how did you get 10k followers and the blue check mark? I can say it was just from the reels. And they won't think about anything because this actually is a big number of views and it can be true. But I'm also gonna explain all of this later. So regarding the reels, 
both of them you can see if you open my profile later uh, but they are just messing around in school so you can post pretty much anything you can post something in a video game you can post something doing a workout for example messing in school you can think about something that has viral potential which was uh, in this case uh, just bringing a heater to school so i brought literally a heater to school it blew up because the school uh, heating was broken and i brought this to school it was funny and it blew up and the second video is a compilation of a bunch of things that I did in school. It's pretty long, so I won't really uh, put the entire thing into this. But it's just a compilation of a bunch of things I did in school. It also blew up. So you can do something like this that is funny. Uh, post it, get views, get followers. But you can post pretty much anything. Uh, so after I posted those reels, got some followers, I realized I can buy the blue check mark because I also turned 18 at the time. And it's only 15 bucks. And I'm not even paying for it monthly because there is a glitch when you pay and then click pause payments on Google Play. You don't need to pay even. I paid like twice and I have the blue check mark since like February. I literally paid three or four times less than what I should have. So it's pretty cheap in the end. And if you live in a place that is not really like the USA, some of people won't even know that you can buy it. If you are in the USA, everyone knows you can buy it and it's not really cool. But in Bosnia, a lot of people aren't even aware that you can buy it. So it's much more cool. And then I also bought followers. So I bought like eight or nine K followers or something like that. I paid like 20 something dollars. So the website that I used sometimes works, sometimes doesn't. So I won't really recommend it, but it's called go read dot io so that's where i was buying followers but and it was like 29 dollars for like 8 or 9k or 10k or something like that but sometimes it works sometimes it doesn't you don't need to use it i used that almost a year ago but yeah uh, we can move on to the different things so you can see uh, here i put government organizations for fun because your profile needs to have some sort of character you can't just copy someone else you need to be unique and to just put your character out there because if your profile is fully fake and not showing any kind of side of you uh, the people you are gonna attract are the wrong people and the people that you don't want in your life so in this case a lot of the things that i showcase on the profile are just like messing around doing stupid shit like for example in the reels i'm messing around i'm being funny also this thing government organization jacked stacked verified like all of this is basically trolling so the profile half of the team of the profile is trolling like uh these uh, captions on the photos like this photo uh i just put literally for each unexcused absence in school i did a pull up so all of these things in my language the captions sound really funny and Basically, that's how uh, it makes my profile stand out. It's not just another guy who is just like flexing or something. It's me trolling and just having fun, messing around. So that's what you need to do to be unique. You can't just copy someone else. So my captions are really like here I put uh, that I'm like failing subjects or something. Like teacher telling me I'm failing subjects at school or something like that. Here I put <laughs> we are visiting schools, but there is like a funny name in our language that but yeah you want to have something that is unique about your profile and that is possibly funny because you need to make girls laugh if you want to not seem lame so obviously not all of this is only for girls because you can also expand your network really nicely with such a profile but it makes everything so much easier with girls so that's regarding the photos and stuff we can move on to the stories now so I just muted the audio because you don't need to hear the songs because they are in my language, you won't understand them. So here just a normal picture at school, nothing really uh, special going on. Here I'm showcasing my physique, that's really important. So you want to have a nice physique and just showcase it on your profile. Then the next photo is a screenshot of when I dropped out of high school and like the teacher writing that I'm no longer in that school. So this is improving the troll look of my profile and also a bunch of girls saw it and they were like, yo, that's funny and stuff like that. This is showcasing my first big online income here. Here I'm showcasing when I earned 3k in 30 days. All of this is like important to seem high status. But also if your profile is too serious, some of these things can be really cringe. But since my profile is like trolling, it's not cringe because I'm just like messing around. Because I dropped out of high school, I'm earning more than teachers and it's like messing around. Here, just a normal picture. But it's, it seems really cool. Uh, now, showcasing my physique again. So the V-taper, the six-pack, 
some of the usual stuff, the nice short stubble, stuff like that. Here, again, trolling, like this would be cringe if your profile is 100% serious. But since everyone in my city knows me as a guy who's just messing around doing some funny shit, this is also funny. Except for the people that don't know that I seem cringe to them, but they are not my target audience. On this picture, I showcase my back again. Here, this picture. So for this picture, I'm just going to give a longer explanation. This is the most like picture I ever posted on my story. This got over 50 likes uh, out of like 400, 500 views. So this is probably the most liked story I ever put up. And I didn't even take a single breath of this bullshit. So basically I called two of my friends that are sometimes smoking and I asked them, would they be up to smoke the cigar if I just lit it up for a story? And they were like, yeah, sure. We went on a coffee. One of them was taking the picture. Second one of them was like looking for angles and stuff. And I just lit it up, took a picture and gave it to the friend. But the picture was so fucking cool regarding like this whole image of like a masculine guy, whatever. And plus trolling, because it's almost like I'm <laughs> making fun of like the guys who are too serious about posting cigars wanting to look cool. So it has both sides to it. A, such a nice cool picture. Then we will go on to the next story, which is when I got the Versace bathrobe. So basically uh, this bathrobe is like $500, $550. And I'm making some pictures with that. I'm messing around like this is trolling. This is straight trolling because I'm just like <laughs> taking a picture of the watch of the bathrobe in a country that is really poor. So this is really like trolling to the max. Here as well, I'm in front of the school that I dropped out of in a bathrobe and Armani Crocs. Like this is funny as fuck. Regarding like most of the people that know what I do, that saw me that day, everyone was laughing. Like that was probably one of the funniest days in my entire life. So I went in front of the school in this bathrobe with a few friends. We were crying out of laughter. It was so fucking funny. Like people who don't know to enjoy such moments usually live pretty depressed lives. Because these little things that are really, really funny and stupid and goofy make lives be so much more interesting and fun and just happy. Because small things will make you happy and these moments of pure laughter and joy will make you happy. And I was probably the happiest in like at least that month on that day. It was so, so, so funny and nice. Then the next picture is just me with the friends in front of the school in the bathrobe looking like a mafia boss or something. Like, it's so, 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 it was so funny. Because you see this friend on the left, like, he's trying to contain his laughter. And literally seconds after taking the picture, I was dying from laughter. Uh, and the next picture is just showcasing my back again. So that's, that's pretty much all of the highlight stories. So you want to just highlight some of your strengths. Uh, like, for example, if you have a nice physique, if you got money, if you are just like messing around do, doing funny shit, you can post all of that and it will be nice compared to not posting anything. Because obviously, like 80% of people will think that I'm like a dumbass or something, but they are not my target audience. My target audience that has a similar personality to mine or is just compatible with my type of humor, I will attract them and that's what matters. You can never appeal to everyone or you are just an NPC. Like if nobody hates you and nobody thinks you are stupid, you are just an NPC. But if a lot of people hate you and think you are dumb, but also a lot of people think that you are funny as fuck and that you are a legend, uh, that's nice because then you are polarizing. Like some of the influencers, like so many people Tate, uh, hate Tate, but a lot of people love him and he's also successful. He's not an NPC. So now I just got some pictures from Germany here. Nothing too insane. It's just some pictures. I hope this, this loads. Yeah, so some pictures here with my friends. So this one, this one, this one. Nothing too insane. Just some pictures in Germany here in an Audi. Stuff like that. Nothing insane. But yeah, these are some of the pictures from Germany. You can showcase like when you travel and stuff to post stuff there here in a club. Like, trust me. So I hate clubs. But I realized that it would increase my Instagram profile value if I had a, a video in a club uh, for the girls. Because a lot of girls will prefer guys that at least can enjoy uh, going to a party or something. So I realized I will go to a club, I will record a video and I will leave immediately. That's exactly what I did. So I went to a club, I waited for it to get full. I recorded a story and I left immediately because I, I hate clubs. It's boring to me. But getting the story was worth it. And then like the next one, the next one, like nothing too insane here. So 
already I covered the posts, why they are there. I'm showcasing my physique, I'm showcasing that I'm traveling, stuff like that. I'm showcasing that I can be funny and goofy and just like a normal person. Reels as well. Uh, I showed you the stories, showing like the money, showing the messing around part, showing the physique, stuff like that. And my kind of personality, just like your profile should showcase your personality in a really authentic and nice way. So you can just attract the people that are compatible with you. That's really important. You should not be fully fake. Obviously, some of the things that I post here are fake, like the bot followers that I bought. And those things are just there to boost the overall aesthetic of the profile. But most of the things that you post should be authentic to you. That's really important. So, and yeah, the link in the description is basically like what I will put probably in the link of this video. It's just my newsletter, nothing too special. And yeah, also what I can recommend you to do is if you are using Instagram on your phone, you can use an app called Instander. So I'm going to search it up so you can see. Uh, and if you use this, uh, you this is like you can't use it this on iPhone, you can use it on Android. And it's basically an app like nobody is sponsoring me or anything to say this, but I have been using this for a long time because you can turn off scene, you can turn off uh, like that you see in stories and stuff. You can turn off typing status, you can turn off a bunch of things. So when you are using Instagram, you aren't afraid, for example, if you are messaging with a girl and you don't know what to write, you can just open the message, see what she wrote, and then you can later think what to reply without her being left on scene. So if you some if you are not really good with chatting with girls or something like that, you can use Instander because then you can just read the message and later reply while also keeping your notifications off so you can grind the business as well and not be distracted. And also you can just see stories without people seeing that you saw them. Like some of these things are nice when you want to go ghost mode and do not really use Instagram a lot. Obviously, you don't need to buy the blue check mark. You obviously don't need to buy followers. You don't need to post reels. But some of the things that you need to do if you want to have a nice Instagram is nice photos where you showcase your leverage points. Uh, and you want to have a positive followers to following ratio. So you want to have at least two times more followers compared to following. Even if that means buying 300 followers, it's better than having less followers than following in most scenarios, unless you want to have a private profile. But usually private profiles uh, don't really work as well with getting more girls and networking because people just can't see the stuff on your profile without sending you a request first and you don't seem as open to just new messages and stuff. So this is some of the things about the profile stuff. And I want you to see the stats of, for example, this story when I dropped out of high school. So basically, if I go to view insights, we can see that I reached like 5000 people, most of them not following me and I got 72 shares. I got 15 replies and 46 likes like that's truly insane. Like that's when I dropped out of high school. Then if you go to some other stories, like for example, uh, the story, like this story, for example, you would think like why post your physique and something like that. Like this story was one of the best regarding performing with girls. So if you go to the insights here, we can see it got 45 likes and 15 shares and five replies. Out of these five replies all over from girls, out of the 45 likes, at least half were girls. So you can see that getting a nice physique always is worth it regarding just your status, especially with girls, but also other guys respect you more. And if you go to the other things, you can see like for this story, it was the most liked. So I'm going to go to the insights for that. Yeah, 51 likes, zero shares, but six replies. But yeah, 51 likes. It was really, really nice. So I went over the insights so you can see like the real shit that I'm not joking with you regarding like likes and how these stories perform well. Like even this story would think like, yo, that screen just fuck. But no, when my profile is just messing around, this story had like at least, yeah, 32 likes, five shares, two replies, 1,500 views. Like that's not bad at all. So if you think that it's really cringe, you need to look at the stats. So, so that was pretty much it. You can always ask me if you need like any specific tips, you can ask uh, in the comments below. You can even message me if you are interested in me personally helping you with getting your Instagram up because I can show you like which kind of photos you should put in your Instagram profile that leverage your strengths because everyone is different. 
But yeah, I hope that this video was useful and no BS and that you learned something new. If you found it helpful, leave a like, leave a comment below and see you in the next video.